Hi, I want to talk a little bit about the hip joint and the best way I can kind of think of doing it is just kind of with a basic pencil. So if my fingertips are the pelvis and then this is your femur, which is your thigh bone, more or less the thigh should move pretty freely and more or less from the same place here as the thigh moves. But then, for example, you start to be active, you walk, you strengthen, what muscles are you strengthening? You could be doing the muscle from here to here strengthening on the same bone, but you can also be strengthening the muscle that goes from one bone to another bone over a joint, which is common in the thigh bone. So if you start to strengthen it too much, what starts to happen is you're teaching it how to contract. It's just looking for the least path of resistance. So what's gonna start to happen if I create too much strength here is then does this happen? Does it then shift forward in the joint and then create a swing? And so when people have hip, hip pain in their hip, I don't know how much of this is necessarily happening. So also, could it be also coming this way? Now, it's not going to be as clear as this, you know, here. It's going to be micro movements. And so it that's why a lot of like recording and slowing it down really helps. But then if this is just the thigh joint and then the knees down here and then it connects to two bones, which make up your shin, which then is responsible to each ankle, then what's going to happen in your foot? So if you have plantar fascia, ankle problems, knee problems, hip problems, back problems, the whole picture needs to be looked at. And I'm hoping to kind of educate everyone on this. Thanks.